Does that mean that everything that's in Mom's bloodstream passes on to Beulah? Everything. If Mom eats well, Beulah eats well. Mm. If Mom eats that's not quite true. And this is how kids end up thinking that like when you eat while you're pregnant, that food goes to the baby. Uh, everything doesn't cross through the placenta. Lots of things actually can't cross through the placenta. But um, yeah, I guess a lot of things do. Meets unhealthy food, her body would probably be able to withstand it. But what about Beulah? Beulah is tiny, delicate, and still developing. She'll suffer. Um, no. <laughs> Actually, fetuses are incredibly uh, resilient and they often don't suffer even when the person who is housing them is suffering. So things like hyperemesis gravidarum, for example, where sometimes you are like unable to even function because you're throwing up all the time and then, you know, the fetus is growing and you've got this person losing like tons and tons of body weight because they can't keep any food down, they can't stay hydrated, they're in the hospital. Fetus keeps growing. So yeah, quite actually opposite of that. A lot of times the fetus is the last one to suffer. Now, obviously there are certain things that I would say you shouldn't partake in during pregnancy to avoid potential issues, but um, yeah, I don't like that framing. And also it's kind of laying the guilt on a bit hard, don't we think? Like you don't have to, I just, I don't ever know how to like put fully into words what I'm trying to say here, but I really don't like when people approach pregnancy as if it is this like obligation that a person has to um, sacrifice themselves. Like, it, sure, if you if that's what you want, and you know, I wish that everyone was in a situation where they had the money and the wherewithal that they wanted to do that, but I just don't like all of the guilt that comes along with it. <laughs> do you think you're a bigger authority than Dr. D? Uh, sorry, you're right. I apologize. I've, I, that was out of line. <laughs>